Joyce, you uh, you were with Tony Orlando and Don. We didn't get a, an opportunity to talk about that the last time you were on the show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so, what was it like uh, being in that group and having a TV show? Oh God, it was so awesome. Yeah, I can't begin to tell you it was so awesome because did- it was something that I never, ever, ever fathom happening in my life. Wow, you know, yeah, how did it happen? Oh, wow. <clears throat> I know we're going way back. Oh, but, uh... gosh, you are. Yeah, you're going way back. Uh, oh, it's probably a long story, longer than we have time for. But anyway, uh, Telma had met Tony, you mean, you know, because she, uh, at the time that she met him, she mm-hmm. was a substitute singer for the girls that sang with Isaac Hayes. Okay. You know, Hot Buttered Soul. Yeah, I was yeah, kidding. yeah. So at that time, she one of the girls was pregnant and couldn't do go on the tour. Telma oh. went on the tour, and okay. the tour ended up in New York. Yeah, she met Tommy. Tony, Tony had had hit songs out before. You know, he had a song called "Halfway to Paradise" when he was yeah. sixteen, kid. Wow. So, oh yeah, you do you remember that, Sherry? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Tony was uh, sang uh, not three times in Candida. He was not Tony Orlando at the time because he could not put his name on the record because he, he worked for a company with conflict of interest. Mm-hmm. A friend asked him, hey, man, can you just put your voice on this song? So Tony said, yeah, I'll do that, but don't put my name on it because I can't do it. The song came out. It was a blazing smash hit. Wow. The next song came up. The guy asked Tony again, can you please do this, man? You already got one hit. Can you put your voice on this other song? (laughs) The same thing. Tony says, I'll do it, but you can't put my name on it. He did it. And that was not three times. And that song took off. Yeah. So when Telma met Tony, he was in the process of putting a group together. Okay. He met Telma and he asked her, do you know anyone else that you can get along with that would be willing to be part of a group? So uh, Telma said, she, you know, ask me about it. I turned it down because I was getting ready to get married. I was a couple months away from being married. Wow. Big wedding, big wedding, all this stuff. I'm like, you know, I, I don't think I can do that. Yeah. So she says to me, well, talk to your uh, would-be husband and you guys think about it. Mm-hmm. So he is actually, the husband is actually the one that convinced me to, to accept it. Wow. So I accepted it. Uh-huh. And the rest is history. We went on, went on the road. Uh, we were gone six weeks to Europe behind mm-hmm. those two songs. Mm-hmm. And um, we just continued on. We saw, oh, we were in uh, Disneyland, working Disneyland. Wow. One of the guys that uh, was the producer, he saw the group. He mm-hmm. liked what he saw, the three of us. And he said, you know, I think you guys would be good on a summer series. We were getting mm-hmm. four weeks, four weeks in July for a okay. summer series to replace someone else. Well, we did the summer series. We didn't have any idea it was gonna take off like it did. And then they offered us, you know, a regular TV show. And that was Tony Orlando and Don. Correct. <laughs> wow. It wow. was mind blowing. <laughs> wow. That is an, that's an amazing story.